Hello children, today we're out here in this beautiful Florida scrub habitat in search for grasshoppers. In specific, we're out here looking for a species of grasshopper that has not been seen in South Florida since 1996 and was predicted to go extinct here. So let's see if we could find anything. This right here is a pretty common species called Floratetix coquinae. Now I see these guys out in the scrub quite a lot, uh, but they're still really cool because they are completely wingless even as full grown adults like this individual. While this katydid is unfortunately most likely invasive in South Florida, there is still a really cool story behind it. At one point, these katydids were once thought to be the species Phaneroptera nana, or the Mediterranean katydid, a common species across much of North America. However, this unknown species from South Florida is longer and thinner and has different shaped terminal appendages. Research to figure out what species of Phaneroptera can be found in Florida is still ongoing, so unfortunately I can't give you a species ID on this one. Still beautiful. Alright children, this right here is a nice big female rusty bird grasshopper. Now you might be asking why is this called a rusty bird grasshopper if it's gray? That's because one of the more common color phases of this species is a reddish brown color, but they're actually quite variable in coloration, ranging from this gray color to more of a brownish gray to some species being that bright orangey red color, which is why they're called the rusty bird grasshopper. And I, you can see it's a pretty flat looking grasshopper, not too much ridging going on at all. The head's kind of bulgy looking, and overall the coloration is pretty plain, so this species is pretty distinctive. The antennae are very long and thin for a bird grasshopper, so really cool species. These are really common out here, but this is my first time like really getting some good looks at a rusty bird grasshopper, so really cool. Alright children, this is what I was talking about about that gorgeous orange-red color morph of the rusty bird grasshopper. Now this is another female, so she's also quite large. I don't know why she's why she's doing that. Calm down. I'm not trying to kill you. Um, but you can see it still has that relatively flat look with the kind of bulgy looking head and overall kind of plain coloration. So, awesome. Awesome little rusty bird. At first glance, this might look like just another rusty bird grasshopper to you, but this is actually a mischievous bird grasshopper, a very similar species to the rusty bird grasshopper, but mischievous are a little smaller, have much thicker antennae, and a much more ridged top of the thorax. Most of the time, mischievous bird grasshoppers like this one also have a pale stripe running down the thorax. This right here is my lifer Texas bush katydid, a member of the genus Scuderia which are almost completely indistinguishable without looking at a very specific part of the male's terminal appendages, which is that supraanal plate, or that thing on the top of the end of the abdomen that's kind of shaped like a T in this one. Different species' males have different shaped supraanal plates. We have our target species, the Spine Circus Shortwing Grasshopper, or Melanopolis indicifer. Now this is the species I was talking about that was predicted to soon go extinct in Palm Beach County due to habitat loss, as this species is restricted to bushier areas along the Atlantic Coastal Ridge Scrubs, a very specific habitat that has mostly been urbanized, especially in the southeast region. However, this species is still known from populations farther north along the Atlantic Coastal Ridge Scrub, like in Brevard County, Florida, but seeing one this far south was an absolute treat. The males of this species, like this one right here, are completely unmistakable when you look at the cerci, or the appendages at the tip of the abdomen. No other species in range has them looking like this. Just when we thought that this absolutely gorgeous Melanopolis indicifer would be it for the trip, some more careful searching for quick movements through the bushes led to one of my best grasshopper finds probably ever. No way, that's a crepitating grasshopper. Palm Beach County first record. Palm Beach County first record right here, crepitating grasshopper. It's Rajamon crepitans. This is the grasshopper I was talking about. This species is a member of the genus Sphragimon, which, with my experience with other species in that genus, are usually quite flighty and hard to catch. However, this individual was just sitting right here, letting me get super close. So let's see if we could catch her. There we go. Got it. Grabbed it. Yes! Sphragimon crepitans! Alright children, this right here is a crazy find. This is the crepitating grasshopper, or Sphragimon crepitans. Now this is a very distinctive grasshopper, uh, not in terms of color pattern because they're actually quite uh, variable, but you see the antennae are banded black and white. That pronotum is pretty heavily ridged. 
and it the rest of the body is pretty plain there's there's really uh no real pattern on this except for the inside of the hind femurs which are like black and white stripes and the inside of the wings should have some yellow as you can see there some yellow on the inside of the wings overall a pretty plain and not very interesting looking grasshopper but a lifer for me and a completely unexpected find because this is the farthest south record I believe ever known of this species right here I can't let her fly out because I need to take pictures this is incredible right here this is just ah. <laughs> All right, children, I'm going to release this gorgeous crepitating grasshopper. Wow. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video where I catch a bunch of katydids and snakes at nighttime.